Hey there, this is a short introductory tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to introduce you to and I'm going to guide you through some of the tips and tricks so that you can get introduced to this uh, to language Lua and especially those who can who are like me who cannot really wait so long to learn a new language. Um, this compilation of a few tricks will help you to know this language. So I've just written them down here so that I don't skip any of them. So here we start. Uh, Lua uses one based indexes. So what I mean by one based indexes is Let's just show you it in the translator. Those who really don't know about Iguana, please check out the first tutorial in this playlist in the playlist of Lua tutorials and you'll love to know about it. So uh, what, what I was introducing you to? Yeah, so Lua uses one based indexes. What that uh, what that really means is arrays in Lua start from index 1 instead of 0. Mostly in other languages, especially OOP languages like C, C++, Java, we have index our arrays starting from index 0 and that has a particular reason as well. If you are, if you know these languages and if you know, don't know the reason, please check out it on the web. You'll uh, find it and it's really interesting one. So don't miss on that. So yeah, coming to the Lua. Uh, arrays use one based indexes. Let's create an array. I know uh, if you have started learning Lua, you won't be very much introduced to this syntax and that's why we are having this tutorial. So just stay tuned to the uh, video and you'll know it soon. So let's just create an array. This is the way we... This these curly braces are actually a way of creating tables and everything in Lua is in tables. So creating this and tables are actually uh, used to implement uh, tables are the only data structures in Lua. So the other data structures uh, like lists, arrays, sets, we implement them through tables only. So right now we are creating an array with table because that's the only way we can do it so uh, our first element in the array is a and next element is b and let's say next element is c so let's just uh, keep your eye on this annotation window since this is a live translator as soon as i write my statement you can see the results in this annotation window so uh, this is an array a and what I'm going to show you is the index starts from 1. Let's just print. No. Uh, for, we'll be using a predefined function in this language called pairs, which is used to iterate through all the elements in Lua. So for i, v, here i is for index and v is for value. For i, v in pairs pairs is a predefined function uh, do here we end it what are we going to do uh, in pairs you need to pass the table you need to pass the array so here a was the array which we had created in this annotation window we have got the loop iterations if you click on any of these, let's click on table, you have A, B and C. And what are A, B and C? A, B, C and A, B and C are the elements of the uh, array. And as you can see, the A is the first element and it has 1 as its index. Anyway, since we have created this loop, let's just print I. As I mentioned, I is the index and I have 1. So, uh, this is something different from other languages in Lua. Coming to our next point, uh, use underscore g to discover the entire API of translator. Now this might sound a bit confusing to you but uh, I'll just explain. Underscore g is a table as I mentioned uh, everything in Lua is in the form of tables. Now underscore g is another table and these tables are in different environments. So underscore g is in the global environment which means it can, it includes every API and all the functions which are in the Lua libraries. So let's return 
underscore g let's watch uh, let's see what we have got in underscore g all this is here and uh, what we have here in g is list of all the is list of all the dua libraries and dua functions uh, moving on to the next point we okay so lua has a very unique kind of operator to concatenate strings to for the purpose of concatenation we use double dots unlike a uh, plus operator the only way to join strings in lua is this uh, double dot operator so let's try doing that uh, let's store our string in variable called c and the string is hey body Uh, we can use single or as well as double quotes to create the string it's up to you i'm using single for now and uh, to concatenate i will do let's say a oh, hello concatenate double dots c in which we have our string double dot how are you and we move on unexpected symbol near hello which unexpected symbol does it have yeah so we just needed to assign it somewhere and uh, what do we have in d then print Lua is a case sensitive language so obviously caps didn't work i will use print t and i have hello hey buddy how are you so here buddy came from c and hello and how are you are concatenated to c as well and moving on to the next point we have variables defined in a function are global without local so what does that really mean this it's quite straightforward i guess if you have uh, defined c equal to 10 so c is going if you have not written local here usually to define local variables you need to write to specify local or and if you don't it's going to be a global variable implicitly and moving on to the next point not equal operator is this uh, tilde and then equal to a call generally it's okay it's tilde so not equal operator uh, unlike what we have in other languages is exclamation mark and equal to and that's what doesn't work in lua the not equal operator is tilde and equal to where is that yeah the leftmost key on your keyboard and equal to so that's what we use for not equal to and functions can return multiple values this is a very important point um, from perspective of learning lua you can return multiple values through a single function with unlike java or c or c++ where we do not we are not allowed to return multiple values and moving on to the next writing extensions to the node and string libraries what that really means is you can extend the functionality of the inbuilt or predefined functions provided by lua and i'll show you in, uh, it in some other tutorial i don't really need to extend to make it any longer and string split function so in most of the languages we have split split function as a predefined functions and we are allowed to use it but in lua unfortunately we do not have a split split function and anyway i'll introduce you to the code and i'll provide you one in my next tutorial and uh, key lua libraries so if you are learning lua don't forget to uh, have a glance on these lua libraries string io string io and os so os generally has date and uh, time kind of functions and io for input output and the string so these libraries have, have some important functions which you think which i think you should be learning if you are learning lua so this was a short introduction uh, with tips and tricks to learn lua stay tuned for the upcoming tutorials if you like the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you